Audi previews another new Sport Quattro concept. We get an official look at BMW's i8 sports car. Seems like I've been saying that for years now. Jay Leno test drives the McLaren P1. Of course he does. And Bentley reveals a new Continental GT V8S version. Plus, who is racing's highest earners? I'm going to tell you. What's the deal, everybody? I'm Derek D. And Fastlane Daily is this show. Recently, Big Bad Bentley introduced a V8 version of its Continental GT to serve as a less powerful, more fuel efficient option compared to the W12. Now the UK automaker is adding a V8 S trim that will narrow the performance gap between the two versions. And obviously, as you can see in this video before you go driving, you're on your balcony looking through a telescope at sailboats, duh. Am I right? Same old story. Totally. The new V8S makes a powerful 521 horses while keeping the same fuel economy numbers as the regular V8, which is 22 miles per gallon, which you probably don't give a flying flock about if you can actually afford this car. Then, of course, as everyone would naturally do, Max, okay. you pull up to your own personal sailboat, you go sailing and scuba diving with your hot ass wife, and then you call it a day. That all checks out. Most people do that. Yeah. That's like a regular person's day. Right. T Telescoping, Bentley, sailboat, scuba diving, hot wife, drive home. Anyway, sales start early next year for all you telescoping looking sailboat scuba divers. But we'll see it in Frankfurt first. So, there you go. Most of you know, but besides being a famous late night talk show host, Jay Leno is a well known car guy who has an extensive collection in his Los Angeles garage. Now, it is directly related to that first part about being famous that lets him do stuff like we're about to show you. Mr. Chintastic J is one of the first of the general public to drive the McLaren P1, and he got to sample all of its features because nothing says badass like Jay Leno, a McLaren P1, and dubstep. I'm sure you think that was his choice to use that music? Um, I don't know, maybe. Doubt it. Among the various driving modes, there is an all EV mode, and unlike most hybrids, this thing can hit speeds over 100 mile per hour in just electric mode. Yeah. In the end, Jay Leno said the P1 is pretty awesome. I didn't even drive it, and I could have told you that, Jay. He also said it's twice as good as his own MP412C, dash 12C, which he also said he's going to give his wife now because he's going to have the P1. And I hear that that car is awesome as well. It is. It's awesome. They're all awesome. Riveting stuff. BMW's i8 sports car has been in the works for years, and we've been talking about it for years, it seems like. But now we've got two official, official photos of the model, even though we feel like, you know, we've seen it multiple times already, you know? It's just the profile in the interior, but the i8 already looks close to the concept version we've seen before. Well, without the transparent doors and the wacky rims. Now there's a traditional BMW interior with new alloy wheels. We already know the i8 will come with a twin turbo 1.5 liter three cylinder plus an electric motor for a combined how many horsepower, Erica? 362. That's correct, and 420 pound feet of torque. It should tip the scales at 3,285 lbs, and 0 to 60 will come in 4.5 seconds. That's pretty good. With that performance, we are talking a fuel economy that will be in the 94 miles per gallon range. Pretty good. Oh, yeah. Pretty damn good, Max. Yeah, man. Phenomenal shirt, by the way. Oh, thank you. He's got a Husky on his shirt. I'll get a picture of that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Very nice. The Audi Sport Quattro concept has been revealed. And it looks almost exactly like the 2010 concept. OK, it looks that way. But it isn't, Tom. Are you sure about that? Yeah, because changes include. I'm about to tell you. Tell me more. <laughs> New Matrix LED headlights, revised front bumper, bigger rear lip spoiler, new taillights, and new side air vents. That's what. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. More significantly, significantly, sorry, the new concept is much bigger than the 2010 version, longer and wider. <laughs> that could lead to its new curb weight of just over 4,000 pounds. Now to the important part. What do you think that is, Max? The twist. The power. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There's a new 552 horsepower 4 liter twin turbo V8 paired with a 148 horsepower electric motor. Nice. That's a lot of horsepower. Yeah. That means just under 700 horses and 590 pound feet of? 
twist. You got it. That's zero what I care six, about. Yeah, that's all you care about. Zero to 60 is over and done with in 3.7 seconds, and it will top out at 190 miles per hour. Oh, and the concept gets the same fuel economy as BMW's i8. Crazy. Yeah. Build it. By the way, we're going to see the i8 in uh, Frankfurt. I'm not sure about the Quattro. Is that going to be there? I'm not sure. I'm sure we're going to find that out. Hey, guys. Who do you think is the highest paid driver in the entire motorsports world? Probably. Alonso. Fernando Alonso. You weren't supposed to guess the right answer. Oh, okay. But that is the right answer. Fernando Alonso. Yeah. I tend to think it's because of FLD and the wonderful publicity we provide gave him that extra boost. Yeah. But uh, he makes 30 million a friggin' year. Yeah. Pretty nice. And second, you got Lewis Hamilton. An F1 driver for Mercedes pulling down $27.5 million paycheck. That's impressive. That's nice. And third is good old American boy Dale Earnhardt Jr., who has earned hard. Huh? Okay. <laughs> $26 million a year. Earnhardt? Earn yeah. Hard. yeah. Oh. There's actually a bunch of NASCAR drivers on the list. So yeah. those dudes make bank. But yeah, Fernando Alonso. <laughs> Getting paid. Yeah. The big bucks. FLD question of the day. RQ of the D, Max. What do you think the best way to get out of a speeding ticket is? Now, we aren't condoning speeding. We're just saying if you've been pulled over before and you got out of one, tell us the story. Or if you have a really good idea, tell us the story. And don't say the ones like, you have to go to the bathroom, like, you know, that's been used. Or cry if you're a girl. Or, you know, go like this and show more cleavage. That doesn't work for cops. They'll give you a ticket now, actually. Like, they'll be like, oh, you're a hot chick. Everything's going right in your life. Ticket. <laughs> so that's usually what they do. Use hashtag FLDQ of the D and answer that question. We appreciate it. All right. Remember, hashtags only work on Twitter and Facebook. That'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. And we'll be in Frankfurt, Germany next week for the Frankfurt Motor Show. You're not going to want to miss those episodes. So we're just reminding you every single day until then. Good job. Right. FastlaneDaily.com, that's our official site. Here's our, our, our social media stuff. You know, I say it every day. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You know what starts tonight, Max? Super Bowl. That going. Team Turquoise. It is uh, directly to re related. Oh, oh yeah, really that looks great.